I'm Lindsay Stewart Davis. I'm an artist that's actually from Howard County, Maryland. Uh, now I'm based out of Baltimore. I do neon work, a little bit of glass blowing. I'm a painter, drawer, woodworker, sculptor. I really think that I'm an interdisciplinary artist. I kind of really love to have control and power over all different mediums to make my work. I think that's a really powerful aspect. I work a lot with merging science and art together as well as sustainability. Before I moved to Chicago, I really focused on environmental sciences and that's something that's kind of, sustainability is carried throughout my entire work. It motivates me on a day-to-day -day basis. But I really work with hydroponics. I like to use solar power to power my sculptures. I work a lot with kinetics. So I use a lot of, my fish are over here, but I use their water to feed my plants. I make hydroponic sculptures. So right now I'm working on a piece that's going to be hanging in this building that was across the street from my first job ever. I worked at this movie stand in Columbia, Maryland at the Columbia Mall. Um, it's a woman-run business. They reach, and my mom actually works there. She's one of the co-owners. And my mom always has like her, my art hanging up in her office and she's just kind of fell, fallen in love with it since the first day she saw it. So she reached out to me to make this mobile structure. She sent me all these different kind of ideas and really gave me like free reign of what I wanted to make. Something that she really wanted was resin and that kind of went behind my entire background. I had just spent all this time paying for an education where I was like focusing on sustainability, focusing on the earth, on how important that is. And for her to ask me to make it out of resin just kind of seemed like a huge step back for me. The material I ended up using is this resin that's made out of agricultural waste. They collect all this manure and I think they collect the nitrogen from uh, I forget how it, it's broken down, but the chemical reaction that happens is all sustainable. It's all made out of waste. I feel like this is really going to project me into the world as an artist. I know that when it's hanging up, the Baltimore Journal is going to be kind of doing an interview on the piece. Um, I'm really excited because I feel like it's in a space that I really trust. It's really nurturing and I don't know, my mom works there. So my mom really like put me on for this one and I love her for that.